I'm here at Citarella in Greenwich Village with Joanne Gregory, their executive pastry chef, who's responsible for these amazing looking cupcakes. Hi, Joanne. Hi. Nice to um, So, can you tell us about um, what's in these cupcakes and what flavors they are and anything else we should know about them? <laughs> sure. Um, as far as what's in them, it's all the types of ingredients that you have in your own home kitchen. Uh, we do do everything on a large scale, but uh, we do what's called scratch baking, and anybody who's into cupcakes probably knows that means you're using just all really just you know good, good, simple, straightforward ingredients um, to make your to make your product. Um, so there's nothing strange in this, nothing you wouldn't recognize. <laughs> okay. um, as far as the flavors, we have um, this is our our chocolate chocolate, uh, my pride and joy. Uh, we've got a red velvet. Uh, this is our yellow cake with white frosting, uh, strawberries and cream, and uh, little guy up here. We've got a coconut cupcake, and uh, frankly, we're just starting a lemon cupcake right Ooh, here. Oh, that's lemon. Yeah. No, does this red velvet have cream cheese frosting? Cream cheese frosting. Okay. Yes, it does, as it should. And <laughs> which of the cupcakes is your best-selling one? Red velvet's the best-selling one. Um, but the coconut really is coming up right behind it. Uh, that's been kind of fun to watch, so it's catching on. Okay, and now you've been selling these cupcakes since February of this year, right? Yep, since February. We started at Valentine's Day, yes. And um, why did you decide to introduce them? Um, we... We... Just we, we, we were behind. We yeah. were behind. We, these, um, you you, this you is pretty much knew people were going to be interested? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we had something, but it was a little bit more of a European style, and I do very much an American style pastry, and that's kind of where we're sort of mm -hmm. leaning with some of our product. And um, so I knew we were sort of, we, we didn't have this category yet, and okay. I, wanted, I wanted to bring it in because I knew, I knew that people were interested and people would be, be looking at it. And now people can also order larger orders of cupcakes if they call in, right? Sure, yeah, yeah. Again, we, we have eight stores, four in the city, four in the Hampton, so we're, we're used to doing big and, and large, so we can we can jump pretty fast on a large order. Or a dozen, you know, a dozen, a hundred, whatever you wanted to do. And why do you think um, cupcakes have been so popular with your customers? Um, I, again, it, it is a comfort food thing, and I think it's also a turn towards American, local, it's, it's, it has all that going. This is basically, you know, a, this is almost like a southern tradition, really, is how I see it, and that's, that's really, you know, very Americana kind of in roots, and, and I think that's, I think that has a great appeal to people, and also, it's very recognizable food. And I don't care who you are, where you're from, <laughs> you you know good chocolate cake when you're eating it. And you know it's frosting. It's not mousse, it's frosting. And, and people connect with that. There's, there's a connection here for people. And now, hopefully this is an easy question, which of these cupcakes is your favorite? Yeah, it, it, is, it is tough. Um, because also, I don't really create anything that I don't feel like, I love that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I truly think that our, our chocolate chocolate is, is the best chocolate cake you will ever have, truly. It's, it's like that birthday cake that you always wish you had but never quite got. Um, but I gotta say then, our strawberries and cream is really beautiful. It's the same chocolate cake that's in the chocolate mm -hmm. chocolate, um, but it's filled with a strawberry fool. And a fool is a, actually it's, a, it's an old southern type of dessert and it's basically just fresh berries folded into cream. And we actually put our homemade strawberry jam into it as well. Wow, inside? Yeah, yeah, wow. it's really nice. Um, but the flavor is like really light and just pure, fresh strawberry. So good for summer. Yeah, and then the strawberry uh, frosting on top, same thing. It's it's frosting with just pure strawberry. Um, you know, we have so obviously we're we're a market. We we have so many so much product coming in. Um, that, you know, overabundance of strawberries, things like that. So we, we'll, we will just start to incorporate these products into what we're doing, and strawberry was one of them. Um, so that strawberry frosting tastes like haagen strawberry ice cream, as Ooh, far as I'm okay. concerned. Yeah. And I'm definitely going to try that. <laughs> and now I just have a quick question. Um, on top of the chocolate is um, the Citarella um, piece of Sorry. chocolate. Can you tell me about uh -huh. that? Um, it's hand-tempered chocolate. Uh, we do all our own uh, tempering in, in the kitchen. Hand-tempering yet, not even a uh, tempering machine. Um, and uh, and then we just, uh, the Citarella name it just comes from a, a transfer and it just, it just picks up. 
Cool. Now, these flavors are here for right now. Um, do you have plans to introduce any other new flavors? Are you, you said the lemon is fairly new. Uh -huh. Is there anything you can tell us that you're thinking about trying next? Um, or just come back well, to the store think, and check I it out? I think a little bit, yes, please come back <laughs> to the store and check it out. Um, you know, but I think we'd, we'll probably start pulling in some uh, some fall flavors, but summer's not over. You know, there's still fruits out there. Um, I was thinking about doing, frankly, that strawberry frosting is so great. I was thinking, boy, can I do this with blackberry, you know, make a blackberry Ooh, frosting. Blackberry. Um, so again, kind of looking at what we have in the stores as, as far as fruits and such. You know, maybe peach. I mean, you know, peach Ooh, is going to be around I for like a while. That. Cool. And again, that frosting just so came out beautiful. I want to see, can I take that and, and draw out the other fruit flavors as well as the strawberry uh, came out in that one. So so probably more fruits um, and, and then definitely try and get some nice fall flavors going as well. Great. Thank you so much, Joanne. Thanks.